still found ourselves up six at, at, at the break and then uh, pushed it to 10 early in the third, I thought we let, let our foot off the gas a little bit. Defensively, we uh, struggled to get stops. Uh, we had, there was breakdown after breakdown. Um, and overall, we, we, we failed in three areas that we talked about preventing. You know, the transition, the offensive rebounds, and the paint. You just can't spot a team 72 points in the paint. Um, I think you're gonna, it's going to go in your favor. Um, obviously, that, a lot of that's transition. A lot of that's on the glass. Um, some of that was coverage, you know, as far as those long or mid, short mid-range twos. But um, bottom line is it, it, you know, those are three things or three areas that we talked about, you know, negating. We didn't do it tonight. I don't think overall confusion. Um, you know, I think we, we need a little bit more, a um, little bit more effort. You know, it's at, at times, and at times they made tough shots. Um, you know, and those in general were the shots we tried to to allow, um, just to kind of negate some of the downhill. But um, you know, bottom line, if you you can't clean up the glass, you give that team second possessions, you're in trouble. Yeah, well, the lack of consistency in our play. Um, you know, making shots aside of that, um, just the swings, you know, and, and how we uh, approach quarter to quarter from half to half. It just uh, wasn't very consistent. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I, it, it's always warranted. Um, and that's going to be a thing all season trying to find those moments when you don't practice quite often, um, you know, to, to teach and kind of take away some of the slippage that we've seen. Uh, so a lot, a lot of that's film study uh, as a group, as individuals. Um, it's walkthroughs. Uh, you don't necessarily want to pound, you know, in, in live segments, practice after practice, you know, with the stretches that we've had. But at some point, we've got to address some of these things and make sure we clean them up. Mm-hmm. Just trying to find, trying to find a, a group. You know, we were struggling um, offensively, and you know, just trying to find a, a group that would kind of get us going. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would be easy to say. Um, and th- there's still some things we can we can fix because um, we've seen this group, that same group you speak of, play at an extremely high level. So it's not like we haven't done it. it and we just got to figure out why we're not doing it all the time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's whether that's human nature, but everyone has to play that way. Every team in the NBA has to go through a road trip. Um, and it's, you want to call it a reason, it's certainly not an excuse. Um, and that's not one we're going to hang our hat on. I didn't see it directly. I think it was a fan, and I'm not sure what the fan said, um, but he, you know, obviously took it personal. Chase. Hey, Wes, uh, how would you just explain how Derek White was able to go off like he did in the third quarter there? He just got a rhythm, you know, and, you know, some of that, once again, was the coverage we're in. um, It puts a lot of pressure on the small, on our guards. And, you know, we struggled to get into the ball, and he was allowed to play in the pocket with a little bit of freedom. Uh, There were some transition opportunities where we didn't find those smalls, and then they're walking into threes. Uh, So, those are certain areas that we can control, and uh, we didn't do a very good job with that tonight. And uh, Daniel Gafford had a- another solid night. It seemed like he he hit his thumb a few times. Just what can you say about him continuing to play like this? And it seems like he's obviously playing through some pain. Well, it's a great thing to see. You know, he's starting to. I think the game's slowing down for him. He understands, you know, where he needs to be. Um, he's making plays around the paint on both ends of the floor, so he's uh, he's impactful. Um, obviously. He's going to play through it. I don't think there's anything structurally wrong. It's just a pain threshold and the way he plays. And, you know, he's going to be playing in traffic in the paint. There are a lot of bodies colliding. It's going to get bumped. So, you know, I give him credit for trying to play through it. 
And at times, I'm sure it's difficult for him to catch and finish, you know, in traffic with uh, with that contact. And you mentioned earlier the the 72 points in the paint. Just what was the common denominator there? Uh, I think a lot of it was uh, the transition. A lot of it was the offensive rebound, and some of it was uh, the coverage. Neil. Hey, Coach. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's you know not really important to the game, but Denny's three fouls, it seemed like he had varying you know degrees of disagreement with it. One, do you have to ever have a conversation with him to say, hey, you know, the refs are going to you know make you know calls sometimes. You got to put it behind you, or does he already maybe do a decent job of short term memory? Uh, I think that that kind of wavers, you know, at times. I think it's it's human nature when you feel like you're, um, you know, you're not fouling someone. They call it. But, you know, to your point, you can't dwell on it. You're not changing it. So, um, you know, figure it out. Understand, obviously, what went wrong. Try not to uh, repeat that. But you got to play through it. It's bottom line on, on both sides. If we're not getting calls in the paint, you have to play through it. And is there anything you're willing to share about your embrace with Coach Pop at the end there? It seems like you guys, you know, talked for a few seconds. Well, he was very encouraging. I mean, it's uh, – to his credit, he doesn't have to do that, and uh, he was very encouraging. First, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know, I think it was just the end of the third. Um, end of the third, they went on a big run. Uh, they led into the fourth, and uh, they were just putting a lot of pressure on us on the offensive end, uh, just getting down, getting into the paint. They scored, what, 39 points in the third. I mean, that's that can't happen, you know. Um, Obviously, it starts with our starters getting off to better starts. And then I think we did a good job. I think for a minute, we were just kind of trading baskets. And it was like whatever team started defending first was going to win. Um, then all of a sudden, we stopped stopped moving the ball a little bit. And um, offensively, we kind of got out of got out of what we do. Uh, and then uh, defensively, we just went guard and mm-hmm. took, enough, uh, took enough effort. And that was, was how I'll piggyback off that. Was, uh, Mainly just defense, man. We gave up a lot. Uh, and like you said, we gotta, you know, we gotta take you no know, pride on that end uh, and, and give a great effort. Um, just making uh, multiple efforts. I feel like we didn't make multiple efforts. Um, it was on the glass at all five of them. You know, we we didn't box out enough. You know, they got, uh, I think, Curter had like nine offensive rebounds. Uh, and then uh, it just was a lot going down there and, and no help. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a little, a little disappointing, honestly, because we should be 4 0. Uh, we know we. The two games we lost, we we more or less kind of beat ourselves. And um, granted, there's no disrespect to them, but we know we could have won those games. And um, we shot ourselves in the foot. You know, granted, we got two out of the trip, uh, but it should have been four or at least three and one. So, um, I mean, you take them, but still a little disappointed. Uh, I mean, we have to be better. Obviously, I mean, it's kind of like the same thing we've been saying over the last few games. Like, we got to take more accountability. Um, I just starting with me being a leader. I have to hold myself accountable on the floor and doing things that we do and, and making sure my teammates are ready to go from start to finish and making sure we get off to a better start in the third. Uh, but more or less, you know, we got we to gotta accept challenges individually a little bit better. We do have a group of vets who, you know, we should know what's going on. We should know how to hoop. We should know you know, how to win games. And uh, I think we kind of, like you said, we have those those inconsistencies and those uh, mishaps way too much, way too much. And uh, I think we have a good group who can who can uh, buy into it and, and lock in and turn it around. But, you know, we got to we got to realize what type of team we can be. We can be really good. You know, we could be really good, but we got to we got to stick to what works. You know, we can't get tired of doing the right things over and over again. Um, I mean, it's going to curl a lot. 
I mean, we it's, we still uh, new to each other. You know, this is a whole new team. Um, but you know, our communication still just got to get better. So you know, it's all about the communication and just the effort that we give them. Chase. Um, yeah, question for Brad. Um, you guys, uh, when it comes to points in the paint, defending the paint, um, have passed some pretty tough tests this year. You know, the Grizzlies, you guys did really well uh, against the Bucks. You did really well. Those are two good teams at that. When you guys are defending the paint well, kind of what are the common denominators uh, for your defense? Uh, physicality, being physical. Uh, and I think that starts with us guards on the ball. Um, you know, getting into our guy kind of directing where we want pick and rolls and how guys are driving the ball. Tonight, I think they were a little bit too free. Uh, we allowed them to get into our paint and kind of get whatever they wanted. You know, they were getting a lot of floaters, a lot of mid-range touch shots, um, a lot of layups, a lot of putbacks, offensive rebounds. Um, and so it was, we more or less kind of put ourselves in those predicaments. You know, we got to be better. And then ultimately, we got to box out. You know, I think it definitely – it was more more or less about our physical approach to the game and, and obviously being mentally checked in and knowing, you know, what guys' tendencies are. We kind of let Derek, Derek get hot in that third, too. Um, you know, so it's just we have to have a higher IQ um, of kind of how the flow of the game is going. And uh, But obviously on the defensive end, it starts with our physicality. Uh, we know if we're, we're a physical team, you know, refs are going to allow us to play. And uh, we know we're engaged at that point. When all five are locked in, engaged, and physical, you know, we all trust each other. We all know the next man's going to be in rotation. We know uh, we could trust everybody to rebound. You know, we didn't have that tonight. Neil. Hey, Brad, it seemed like it wasn't necessarily an accountability thing, you know, throughout the game. You guys started fine, you know, but what is the toughest part of keeping that going for a full 48 minutes and, having that same accountability after halftime and whatnot? Uh, it's not necessarily a hard thing to do. Um, you know, we just, I mean, it's its just a matter of just getting the job done. You know, it's not its not pointing a finger at the next man. You know, it's a collective effort from all of us um, of, of just doing a little bit more. You know, we have to give a little bit more. Um, and especially games like this, you know, we, we, we can't, we can't flip that light switch on. You know, we, we can't, we can't do that. You know, we got to, we got we to gotta come out swinging and, and keep swinging, you know, and understand that, you know, we have, we got the depth, you know, we, you know, so fatigue shouldn't be an issue or anything like that. Like we, we got the pieces. So um, we just got to put it together. I think we'll be fine. Um, obviously we have to be more consistent and uh, accountability does play a factor into it. Granted, we, we were there, you know, most of the game and third kind of got out of hand, but um, individually we got to, we got to be better for sure. And for either of you, you know, coach has talked about, you know, he hasn't fully implemented everything in his offensive scheme that he wants to, you know, granted you guys are new, don't have so many practices. Where would you guys say you are in terms of just, you know, just getting to that level? Is there another, obviously you have more steps to take, but do you guys feel like you have everything capable in your offensive tool bag right now? Or is it just, you know, that slow progression of getting more plays involved? Uh, honestly, I think it's still a progression because like, like Pope said earlier, we're still, we're still learning a lot of stuff on the fly, you know, and I think I even, I think I mentioned this to you a few weeks ago, Neil, it's like impressive that we're able to put together the wins we have with, with the amount of adjustments we're making on the fly and learning each other on the fly, you know, so, uh, we're definitely proud in that, in that standpoint that we continue to grow and move in the right direction, but, uh, we also hold ourselves to a higher accountability and standard of knowing we can be better and do better. Um, uh, and we'll do that. Um, it's just a matter of us continue to continue to play. The more the more we play, the more we get familiar with each other, you know, the easier the game will become. You know, as far as coaches' schemes, I don't know. You know, he's he probably has a, a deep bag of stuff that he'll implement, you know, throughout the year. Um and yeah, I think we still, I mean, we can definitely open up our offense to a lot of guys. You know, we have so many versatile threats. So I wouldn't be surprised if he does, you know, on top of the guys that we still have out who we're trying to implement back to. So it'd be a big adjustment. Like even that, that'll be another adjustment we'll have to learn on the fly too. So this whole year will be a year of adjustments, but we have the we have the right guys in here to get it done. Thanks, guys. Safe travels back. Thank you. Last question to Christos. 
Hello guys, hope you're doing well. Brad, what do you say about your team energy-wise and what do you need to do to maximize your, your energy as a team in the next games? Uh, we have to create our own energy. You know, I think that's that's been, uh, I would say, New Orleans game and this game has kind of been our Achilles heel in, in the losses. We haven't, we got to create our own energy and sustain that. You know, we understand that it's a tough building to play in and, you know, it's the last game of the road trip. You want to get back home, but you got to really be dialed in and, and get this game in every quarter, you know, because these type of games can be trap games at times, you know, so we got, we got to be better at being locked in and understanding every possession counts, every possession matters, you know, and I think we'll be better moving forward. You know, this is a uh, first big kind of road trip for us and good test for us, but you know, moving forward, you know, we got what Minnesota and Cleveland coming up, which would be another two athletic, fast paced teams who love to get in the paint and really yeah. dominate the game. So, the challenges keep coming. You know, we'll just have to get better uh, and be ready to go next game. And how safety for you is to have teammates like KCP, Montrezl, that experienced veteran guys who can adjust, can make adjustments, and uh, can help the team in every way on both ends of the floor? I think it's, I think it's important, you know, and it makes my job easy. Uh, I say it after every game. Like, I don't have to do everything. You know, I don't have to make every play. I don't have to, you know, make every shot take every shot. Like I have teammates I can trust and, you know, get them the ball and for them to make plays. And, you know, and the fact that we have vets who won championships, who, you know, went deep into the playoffs, the adjustment part of it is easy because they know what to do. You know, they know how to win down the stretch. They know how to win games. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely happy we have all of our guys here, all the guys we added. Um, they're all viable pieces to our team moving forward. And, uh, you know, like I said, they're all vets. You know, they're all, you know, they all know what they're capable of doing. We're all men and um, we're going to make sure that we're all held each other accountable and ready to go next game.